Hey, welcome back to the Fit Survive channel. So it's been a while since I've done a build video, so we'll be doing another one of those here. I'll show you the process of how I make these custom Swiss Army knives. So we're using these titanium scales. These are from China. Uh, they are plus scales. You can see right here, it's got the pin uh, slot there. And what we're gonna be doing is we're using the X tool, uh, laser cutter, laser engraver again. So this is a different laser module than I used in the previous video where I was cutting uh, some boxes and stuff. So this one is intended for uh, cutting like titanium on stainless steel. Uh, even on brass and copper and things like that. So we'll be using that, and what we're going to do is we're going to engrave uh, basically a uh, kind of a Damascus pattern on these titanium scales. So that's going to be a really cool project doing that. And we'll be using these uh, space gray G10 liners I've made. All right, and for the Spyderco blade, we're going to be using a Dragonfly. So this is a Spyderco Dragonfly 2. And this is the limited edition Damascus steel. Is something that um, Knife Joy made. Unfortunately, now they've discontinued it, made it really hard to find uh, these blades. So we'll be using that, and with that, we'll be using this right here, the spring for that. And then for our first layer, actually, we're gonna have an electrician blade. It comes out of this 93 millimeter Swiss Army knife. So we'll be using that, and next to that, we'll be placing a bottle opener. Go. So the bottle opener and the electrician blade. I'll be serrating that by the way. And it's also it's gonna be really cool. Be showing the whole process. Alright. And uh, last time I did a video like this where I kind of showed uh, some of my parts that I have in my box. Um, I had several people ask me where you could buy uh, like the loose parts, and there's not really a place you can go. There are some um, like eBay accounts that you can go to and you can find some spare parts. I'll include some links to where you can find some. There's not like a place where you can go and find literally everything um, in one place, unfortunately. All right, next up we're gonna be using a bit driver. And of course we need the springs that go with that. So most of the parts that I have, or I guess all the parts that I have, all these spare parts, are actually from knives that I've disassembled um, over time and basically collected the parts and so that's where I get my parts from. Now some parts like, like the spare uh, bit drive, um, bit holders, bit shall I say, you can find those online. Um, again, if you guys want, I can send you links to that. All right, next thing we're needing is some pliers. Let's go in here and we are running out of space again. So I'll scoot this all up. And then the last tool we're gonna go for the scissors. And with the scissors, we're also been doing a, a special little modification here. I'll put these here because I'm out of space. So instead of the typical, uh, what you have on the back of the uh, scissors, is usually the parcel hook. So we're gonna be modifying an awl and placing that on the back instead. It's a bit of a modification there. All right, and so that's it for our tool set. So what we're doing with the titanium scales, we're gonna be uh, engraving, we've got the uh, electrician blade, we're gonna be serrating. And so next step we'll do, we'll start taking this apart and we'll continue from there. All right, so we'll start with disassembling this knife. So we'll be using basically a three millimeter uh, drill bit to get that out. All right, so the rest of this um, we won't be needing. So I'll be putting this into my toolbox. And once again, that's kind of where I get a lot of my spare tools is from cases like this where I pull out one tool and the rest of the parts are not needed. All right, and we're just gonna unscrew this and get that blade out. All right, so we have our tool disassembled now. We'll go ahead and start working on the modifications.
right, so we'll go ahead and we'll test this, make sure that I just adjust it just right. I want to make sure that the electrician and the bottle opener are going to be as close to parallel when they're closed. All right, so you can see right there exactly what I wanted to see, where they're almost parallel. So that's all we need to do for that bit of a modification. So next thing we'll do is start working on the spring and the dragonfly blade. So again, we're going to test the spring, make sure you've got it adjusted just the way we want. All right, so the tips can be just below the line, which is perfect. So that gets snout to it. All right, so I just noticed that I am one liner short for this build. Uh, if you noticed that before this, before I did, let me know in the comments and give yourself a pat in the back for catching that so quickly. All right, so what we do is I'll take this outside and I'll make one last liner that I'm missing. I'll go ahead and show you guys that process since I'm doing this now. All right, so got that finished up Let's right here. All right, so next up, we're gonna be engraving these titanium scales. But before we do that, uh, we're gonna do, of course, we're using this X tool. It's the D1 Pro. I have the 10 watt module right here. So this setup, um, I've shown it before already once. Uh, right now, I have it set up with the 10 watt module. And so this works great for cutting wood, uh, engraving wood, things like that. Again, like I showed in, in the previous video. Um, but what we're gonna be doing, it's kind of cool, is actually you can take off these modules, and we're gonna be swapping this out, this 10 watt module out for this 1064 infrared module. And so this one's gonna do a lot better on engraving titanium, stainless steel, and things like that. And so it's fairly simple to do, uh, nothing complicated. Simply gonna be taking this out right here, taking that cable out, just like that. I'm gonna set this over to the side and simply install this one. All right, so just slide it in. Uh, it's practically just plug and play. One thing we're gonna be doing is we'll swap out the adapters uh, for a slightly more powerful adapter as well. All right, so that snaps in. Put this in here and lower that down. All right, I'm gonna have to loosen up this. Let's get over, you can see. It's right here. Let's loosen this up a bit to lower that down. I'll do that off camera so you don't have to see my hands, my elbow here. But one last thing we do need to do is once we replace this, so this is the adapter that goes for the 10 watt module. We'll be re replacing that, or should I say swapping it out for a slightly more powerful module. They also put this green little sticker on here so you don't confuse them. It says, uh, use this power adapter for, let's see, oh, to power the infrared laser module. All right, so just simply, again, just plug and play. Just plug that back in. All right, and basically that's it. Other than, like I said, I'll be adjusting the height of this. I need to change that uh, screw. Uh, well, I just need to unscrew it a bit to lower it down. And that's it, now we can set this up. Um, it will be engraving the titanium. And right, we'll come over here. And so this is the pattern we'll be using. So I found this on Adobe Stock. So basically a topographic pattern. Um, so we go in here, we'll make sure we have everything lined up and set up. Go into framing. All right, come back over here to the device. All 
right, so we have that lined up. So we're gonna tell us that the framing is completed. And so we have everything set up where we want. Over here, we'll tell it to start. So we'll send the file over to the device. And what we'll do is we just press start and let this thing start going. So it's gonna take uh, quite a while before this is finished. And so we'll probably be going in and out a couple of times. All right, so that's how it turned out. It's actually a really nice, deep, uh, engraved pattern. It's kind of coarse, so it's not like smooth, like just topical, but actually uh, got a really good texture tip. All right, so I'll do the second um, half of the scale. Of course, I'll do that off camera. Um, but basically, this uh, this laser with the 10 watt module on it, it costs right now like $500 right now. Uh, that is with some sales they have running right now. I checked before the video. Otherwise, usually with the 10 watt module, uh, it costs right on like 850. I think right now it's 500. And uh, to get this um, infrared module, it also it's right on 500 dollars right now. I think it's on sale. Uh, I think it was originally like 550, and now it's like 500. So, anyways, it's also got some sales on this. So, I'll include links to both the infrared laser and to the entire X Tool uh, laser engraver, laser cutter with the 10 watt module. So, if you're interested in that, be sure to to pick that up. Next thing we'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and paint these with some nail polish. I'm not gonna do that on video simply because there's nothing really that interesting. Maybe it's just this section here that pivots. I'll paint it with nail polish. All right, so for my acid, I'll be using ferric chloride. All right, and then we'll set this for a minute and a half. All right, so you can see that's how it looks, starting to darken already. So we'll do a couple of goes with the acid. And so generally two, two times, sometimes it may take up to three times before I get the, uh, the darkness that I want. And so just a little rinse off like that is generally enough. And then we'll go back into the acid for another minute and a half. All right, so this is actually the third round of the acid. So I did not show the second time. Just to kind of cut to the chase basically here. All right, so we will we'll stop here. And the next thing we'll do is we'll do an, acid, uh, a, yeah, an aluminum wash on this. Now after that, I'll do the rest of the tools off camera and we can start assembly after that. All right, so there we got our aluminum wash, just like that. All right, so finished up with acid etching, so this is now ready for assembly. So you can see how the tools turn out here. Good, nice, uh, dark color like we want to see. All right, and also you can see that I ended up changing up the scales, uh, contacted the, the guy who ordered this, and so he chose these over the uh, this Damascus, pat Damascus pattern. So I did both of these patterns on the X-Tool D1 Pro. Both of them were with the infrared laser. And so he ended up choosing this topographic pattern instead of the uh, Damascus pattern. So we'll be using these instead. All right, another thing I did, I already have some pins ready for assembly. So these are 2.5 and 2.2 millimeters for these. So I'll include uh, that down the link, the video, in case you guys are interested in uh, picking those up.
All right, so you can see the brass grommets placed on here. So what I'll do, I'm gonna cut these, uh, the brass pins down to the needed height. I'll do that off camera simply because I need to really see what I'm doing. I can't have the camera in front of me. And so then once I cut that off, I'll show you how much I've left. All right, so you can see I left just a small amount there. Not a lot. All right, so we'll pin this shut now. And if you've been on my channel for a while, you might miss my old ugly hammer. We'll be using this uh, actual peening hammer, considered an upgrade. All right, so the last thing we need to do now is we're going to epoxy the scales on. Let's be using a two-part epoxy. It's intended for metal. And this dries a bit faster than what I'm used to. And so I will have some help here. So I'll be doing one scale. I'm basically doing the second scale at the same time. That we can put them both on simultaneously. All right, so now I'll just clamp this down and we'll let this epoxy set. So anyways, we'll go through the tool set one last time. So you have the serrated electrician blade, then the bottle opener right here. Dragonfly blade, which as you see is accessible with your right hand. Action of it right there. All right, then you got the bit driver, bit holder. The pliers. And lastly are the scissors on this side. All right, in the back you have the corkscrew. And then the awl, which we modified to fit behind the scissor layer. All right, and that is it for this build. So let me know what you think about these scales, about how that pattern turned out there with the X-Tool D1 Pro. I think it did a great job doing a nice deep engraving. You see there into the titanium. So it really does look great. Uh, let me know what you think about that. Be sure to check out the, the X-Tool if you're interested in getting a laser engraver, laser cutter. Uh, it does a really good job provide so many different options with the different modules that you can install. So please let me know anything about that. Let me know anything about this build, especially with this uh, Spyderco Dragonfly, with that Damascus pattern. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.